It's ten times more powerful at stopping than a disc brake, he concludes. The joystick, which runs across the lap of the passenger, serves as a seat belt. To accelerate the car, the joystick is pushed forward. To reverse it, it's pulled backward. To turn right, the passenger simply slides the pipe to the right, and vice versa for left. An unusual garage. With the dream car 123, there will be no more pulling up to gas pumps to refuel. Instead, when the passenger pulls the car into the garage, the recharging begins. The garage, however, is not your usual building. It's a combined solar and wind power that harvests both sources of energy. Sun and wind by day and wind by night. The tower is 65 feet tall with a wind turbine at the top that has a 4 foot wide by 16 foot tall blade, complete with a blinking red light to warn air traffic. The outside of the tower is covered with 16 8 by 8 foot solar panels on all four sides of the tower. There are four separate levels of battery storage in the tower. Each level of storage has 48 batteries. Although the car in its current design will go about 200 miles per charge, Zenith's goal is to produce one that will go about 1,000 miles per charge by using more batteries. Tunnel. Looking further down the road, Zenith's plan includes a rapid transit tunnel which can quickly go up to speeds of 300 miles per hour and transport people from one city to the next using the dream car. The tunnel could be built over existing rail lines with moderate changes or between interstate highways. Our country desperately needs a fast, single pod, ground transport, Janis says. 80% of drivers are single occupants of their vehicles. The tunnel would be a precast concrete unit 24 feet long and 10 feet wide and 8 feet tall. Shaped like a pyramid to accommodate the car. Rather than use its batteries, when the car is in the tunnel, it would pick up electricity from streets bolted to the floor, similar to Chicago's elevated trains. An extra set of wheels would serve to keep the car locked into the tunnel, so it would be riding on eight wheels while cruising trough the tunnel. Two lossers attached to the top of the car serve as a visual guidance system that helps in navigating the car. With these pointers aimed 80 to 100 feet in front of the car, the passenger can see the lane and other objects ahead. The guidance system can be used within or outside of the tunnel and is meant to be used along with your natural eyesight. Cost Zenith is hoping to offer the car for sale at $24,000. Because of rebates for electrical cars from the state of Illinois, however there is a potential of reducing the consumer's cost to $16,000. The rebate is for the consumer of the electric car. There are two models of the dream car available. The city car model, which is for commuting to work and around town, uses half the batteries decreasing the cost by at least $4,000. This car would have half the range as the standard model because it has less battery power. The solar slash wind tower which serves as the garage would be about the same cost as the standard car and the rebates would also apply. Business plan. With 210 electric cars licensed to drive in the state of Illinois, Greg is hoping that within the next few years, 100 more dream car 123s will be cruising around. His business plan has all the details and numbers projections. By the fourth year of production, the goal is to have 10,000 cars on the streets. Benefits. With all the hubbub about global warming and oil independence, the benefits are obvious. The Dream Car 123 is an invention whose time has come. We need to look at what we're leaving our children, Zenith says. What are they inheriting? It's our obligation, as servants of Jesus, to leave a better world. People need help in changing their thinking to clean running cars. We must try new inventions if we want a clean earth, he says. Completing a project of this size cannot be accomplished 
unless people partner together to achieve its goals. It needs people who are willing to step up to the bat and say we help do something about it. If you would like to learn more about the Dreamcar 123 project, visit Greg Zemis' website, which has YouTube videos, at World Wide Web. Rianker 123. Number call 630-466-7170. Specifications. Curb weight dash 8,000 pounds. Speed up to 200 miles per hour. Miles per charge dash 300 and up. Passenger, one or two depending upon size of occupants. City car model, $21,000 after rebates the cost is $14,000. Standard model, $24,000 after rebates the cost is $16,000. Cost does not include delivery or taxes. Alternate lead slash introduction. Who needs oil? Not America, if inventor Greg Zanis of Sugar Grove, Illinois, has anything to do about it. Zanis has recently patented an electric car, he calls Dream Car 123. The genius of this futuristic, one-person, safety vehicle is that it uses today's technology, but eliminates many of the traditional car systems, producing a car that is more efficient, faster and safer to drive than today's mechanical car on the street. For America and the consumer this is good news. With Zenith's electric car the consumer doesn't just plug into the garage electricity for its charging. Instead, Zenith has developed a unique garage that allows the consumer to drive in and recharge using energy that was harvested from the garage itself. The Dream Car 123 actually began as a childhood dream when Zenith, the son of Greek immigrants who spoke no English in the home, started thinking about sketching up the car. When he began school, the first song he learned was God Bless America. First ride offered about 2250 word pictures on request C2007 Pam Beckman. Thanks for your support.